Man, Grand Rising to the Collective. Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up at 7 up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps Collective grow, helps Collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content. Tap in with this content. But I actually wanted to tell y'all sometime, I think next Sunday, I will drop the video of me and moms. She said she wanna hop on. Y'all put that in the comments nonstop. Y'all spammed it up. So I'll bring moms on for an episode. So y'all can look forward to that. I also want to say I apologize to anybody I'm just now getting to on my music page. Some of y'all was commenting from like months ago, letting me know y'all really rock with the music and y'all want more of that, more videos. I see that, I'm, I responded to some of them. I apologize, it took me so long. I did be trying to get all these videos out for y'all to where I forget about the music. Like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I got an album coming, but I like, that's recent. I haven't been on the music in a while. I've really been just grinding with these videos, tapping in with the collective. But I got y'all, I apologize again. But today, y'all already know what it is. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Let's get straight to the video, man. Let's go. Kardashian, if you can tell. This is a photo shoot that she had done last night. So she's supposed to be an albino alligator, y'all. An albino alligator? I mean, we already know that alligators are reptiles. One of the oldest forms of reptiles living, in fact. And I'm sure you guys are well aware about the reptilians and draconians, where there are others called alpha draconians. And the alpha draconians are pictured to be as white, just like this over here. But to me, she looks green. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. So let me ask y'all a question. What if this is not a costume? What if this is part of a transformation? It's like the unfinished transformation. Because you know Halloween is the holiday where they basically get to show y'all their true selves, who and what they really are. And to take this type of photograph in this environment, like, is that black goo? Is she standing on black goo? Is that what that is? What is that? Yeah, I truly understand why Kanye West left now. I, I truly understand why Kanye West left. And that's crazy. Do y'all see the feet, though? How it be looking like that? It really looks like reptiles' feet. Bro, it's crazy what these people are pulling out. Like I said, this might be real, it might not be. But the fact of the matter is, her doing this sends a deeper message to the collective. But let me know what you guys think about this video, y'all. Let's continue to get this shift. Pe I think she's showing true form. UFOs and aliens in New Mexico. New Mexico has always been a UFO hotspot, especially with the infamous Roswell incident in 1947. But what most people don't know is that the sightings haven't stopped. They've only gotten stranger. In 2020, a pilot flying over the state reported a cylindrical object speeding by his plane so fast he couldn't explain it. Just last year, in 2023, Multiple people near the White Sands Missile Range saw bright lights moving erratically across the sky, silently, as if they were observing us. Some believe these crafts are using New Mexico's vast deserts as hidden landing spots. In the most chilling part, some witnesses claim they've seen not just the ships, but shadowy figures on the ground afterward. If the government has answers, they aren't sharing them. But with more sightings every year, People are starting to wonder, are they already among us? Have you ever seen a UFO or had an alien encounter? Nope, we were never supposed to see these as these biblical stones are coming out everywhere. And what this means for our world is terrifying. People were shocked after it was discovered blue stones or referred to as sky ice in Antarctica were found and they resembled the exact same objects that Ezekiel mentions in the Bible, claiming what the firmament or the dome of earth is made out of, saying the firmament material would appear like sapphire or blue stone. But how this was found is even more insane as decades ago, a scientist had leaked they found sky ice 
after years of research in Antarctica, claiming that the government has sealed all this away, knowing could lead to terrifying changes about our planet and science. With him saying that the government had found an entire ice wall made out of the biblical sky ice. The same ice wall that the pancake earth believers say is in Antarctica, possibly proving that the earth may be a lot bigger with many more continents than we could ever know on the other side. With any scientific discovery, we need to look at the concrete evidence and satellite images still point to a frisbee earth not existing and likely nothing beyond an ice wall. But wouldn't it be crazy? I think that clip has came on this channel. Before. So apparently Los Angeles has been stinking. People saying it has been smelling like rotten eggs or the smell of sulfur, uh, dead fish, all kinds of things. And nobody is bringing awareness to them. Los Angeles stinks right now. OK, and I mean that very literally. It stinks. And nobody's talking about this on the west side and Santa Monica. It smells like dead fish all over. And I keep searching. Now, I believe this is also tied to why Los Angeles has been foggy as of late. Because the smell came around the same time the fog came. Were you guys aware that a mud eruption took place in California just a few days ago, y'all? This is like the mud floods coming back, y'all. This is what has been smelling like sulfur. This is coming deep underground from the earth, y'all. Like the mud floods. Y'all see this? So there has been mud explosions in Los Angeles and nobody's talking about it. Nobody really knows what's going on. This is happening in the hills of California. And this is why it's extremely foggy in Los Angeles, as well as why it smells like rotten eggs and dead fish and all that stuff. So the air in Los Angeles right now is mostly methane, amongst other things. But yeah, did y'all know this was going on? And what do y'all think about this, y'all? Because again, this is in Los Angeles. Let me know if that makes sense to y'all. And let's continue to get this shift. Share this video. Peace in. Now I did come across a clip that I did not post and the clip was of a woman talking about she had this rotten smell in LA but I hadn't heard nothing before that so I was like you know I'm just not even gonna post that so I didn't post it but this time I'm seeing somebody else speaking on it and I saw some I saw another video of this too so that's why I was like you know let me bring it to y'all because see I ain't we in sad we didn't thank God we haven't had nothing going to go down I seen a mud eruption pop up, and we already seen the floods. Somebody said, y'all got hit with, what was it, uh, Asheville? If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody in the comments said they from Asheville, and y'all got hit with that hurricane. And y'all said, y'all six hours away from the ocean. We is six hours away from LA, which is sad. We six hours away from LA, but we like a couple hours away from an ocean, because we not too far from Frisco. So that was scary to me to hear that one. And then I see the mud eruption coming like that. And it's like, y'all think that that's a natural thing or y'all think they creating that on purpose? Let me know. The fog part about LA, I know it's smoggy. It gets smog, like the smog is real out there. But let me know if that's different. I hadn't heard about the fog either. And I got people out there in LA. So let me know what y'all hearing to my people that's out there. Cause I know a lot of y'all come from LA that watched this channel. I have seen. So shout out to y'all. I hope y'all smooth out there. Let me know. cameras. Brazil experienced this rare phenomenon. They are calling it Arco Iris de Fogo, which is basically a rainbow fire in the sky. This thing looks like a ship that's moving up there that looks like it's on fire, like a rainbow fire. Look, look at all these colors, y'all. Check this out. Look, not just that, but people was also able to take pictures of it, y'all. This is in Brazil. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all these colors that's coming off of this cloud. But this thing looks like it's ripping through. Y'all see that? Like the firmament is breaking. The sky is falling like Chicken Little. Look at that. It looks like clouds entering from another realm. Y'all see that? And then it went to looking like this. Oh my goodness, bro. 
Look at that, bro. This is this is exciting, man. I don't know about y'all, man. It looks like flames in the sky, fire in the sky, bro. If these things didn't exist, would y'all believe this? Like it looks out of worldly. This is literally Lisa Frank, y'all. Like the magic unicorn. Like, look at that, y'all. It looks like a whole nother entity. This video got like 8 million views, y'all, and it's still going. That's how popular this thing is in Brazil. They even noticed that the planet is changing, but look, it's like a huge ship. Y'all see the outline? Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That's crazy. Wow. What an amazing time to be alive, to be experiencing all of this on this realm, y'all. We get to tell our children that we were part of this great shift. I've been telling y'all we in that rainbow portal. Ain't no telling how deep that rabbit hole goes. But let me know what you guys think about this video. Let's continue to get this shift, y'all. Peace in. Real quick, let's go ahead and take some time to appreciate Conscious Juice. Some people I've seen don't like him. I haven't had that feeling i don't I, I like bro shout out to conscious juice go run him up bro tell him we sent you tell him the collective tell him this channel sent you there tell him i sent you man but am i tripping or is that dope to see is that dope to see would y'all believe it if it wasn't caught on video or camera would y'all believe it or would y'all say that's like uh cgi or something spam it up let me know but again go run up conscious juice tell him i sent you man spot multiple times leading to the belief that the site is divinely blessed people flock here seeking healing drawn by the holy dirt believed to have miraculous properties now let's talk about the Tua legend long before the Spanish arrived the Tua people revered this land known as Samajo Pacui or pool of water they believed this area held powerful restorative abilities and use the sacred dirt for healing. Even after the springs dried up, the land remained a symbol of hope and recovery. This area is also home to other legends like witches, skinwalkers, and La Llorona, the ghost who mourns her lost children. Have you heard any other legends or stories from Chimayo? Let me know in the comments. Damn. That's a whole lot to take in. So California just had a mud eruption, right? And this person said sulfur and rotten eggs, the smell of demon. Apparently, this is what this stuff smells like. Now, this is purely and strictly for entertainment purposes only, TikTok. The information is not true. It's not real. It is fake. So Los Angeles, LA, Hollywood, Hollyweird is well known for this. And we all know, you know, they live underground. They even tell you in the article in the LA Times that, you know, they have catacombs. So back to the sulfur and rotten eggs and the smell of demon. It is said allegedly that these people smell like that. Now check this video, y'all. Have y'all ever seen this video? And there, I, I, was, I was reading the other day, there, there's a, a guy on the radio who apparently Trump's on his show frequently. He said me and Hillary are demons. Said we smell like sulfur. Ain't that something? And 
and this is what's going on in LA right now, y'all. And again, we know LA seems to be one of the major home bases because of, you know, Hollywood, you know, their movie industry where they gotta, you know, show you the illusion. So y'all know how we live on the surface and they live under the surface and this sulfur smells like eggs. What if this is, you know, Mother Earth's nature's way of pushing out the rotten eggs? They are the rotten eggs. What do you think? Like there's a great cleanse going on because that would be like the diarrhea of Earth. Because look at it. It looks like diarrhea. So what if this is Earth detoxing them, removing them out of her? Nonetheless, y'all, very interesting times, y'all. Earth is detoxing, we are detoxing, the frequency is high right now, and this is strictly for entertainment purposes only, y'all. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let's continue to get this shift. Peace in. This man said diarrhea. <laughs> Just going, did you know that you can order sunlight? No, I didn't know you go Give me my sunlight. phone real quick. I want to... It, it can be completely dark out now, and you can order sunlight from the fake sun watch you i know you probably like man y'all keep crazy look check this out new company just started where you can order sunlight from your cell phone according to the hindu reflect or is a company with plans to sell you sunlight at night hold on it's called reflect orbital is a company with plans to sell you sunlight at night this is from the Hindu.com. This article was just updated to give you more details August 29th, 2024 at 12.05 p.m. IST time. It gives you the company names. It says reserve a spot of light. And, and they showed it how it worked. You can literally go to your phone and download an app, right? Connect it to a simulator that's connected to the sun and you can order sun at the at, at light at, at nighttime, which he did, and it turned the damn sun and it gave a spotlight on Earth. And then they said there's gonna be some problems with it because it's not it's not in a precision and it ends up lighting up the whole area. So they gotta do a lot of things and take it through a lot of different uh basically regulations and lobbies to get it working. But man, they already showing this stuff, man. You can order sunlight with, through the fake sun. My globe believers, explain it. So with the thing with Diddy, um, Jeff been going on in Hollywood and Gary Vaynerchuk for a long time. And he's just on a small fish in, the, in that bowl of big fishes. So uh, what I don't like about it though is um, that people always want to focus on Diddy. You know, they only want to put a black face there. I'm going to put a black face or a black male, or a black guy, or a black woman on the spot like any race crime. They want to take the black people down, but they don't want to point the finger at the real person that's responsible, right? They're like, we don't sit here and get mad at them and say, why are you pointing at the TV? Yeah, you know, a thousand years, you've been telling the right? But we don't want to be at the person who brings the to the community. That's my only issue with that. You know, to get mad at, at, at the murder be high, lock up the give them life, but nobody focuses on the people that's breaking the guns in the community, the people that's promoting violence in the music, people who really doing the moves to every soul every ancient soul who made it to today who came back for just for this moment in time now it's a new earth planet kai is being resurrected earth is being destroyed exit earth into reality so that's the unique thing about um this is what they are labeling a great conjunction or a planetary reset when it's really just us shifting in consciousness rising in frequency rising in dimension the time spell f officially broke today peace to the gods and goddesses of planet kai peace to the ancestors peace to the hood those who's tuning in and still waking up and, and 
remember it. Now we rise. Everything was stolen from us. Now we take it back full force. Remember who you are. Today the planet resets herself. The energy resets itself. Everything without a soul will be eradicated until we are at a state of cohesiveness, electrically, geometrically, spiritually, astrally, quantum physically, metaphysically, on a molecular level. I love y'all reflection. Happy birthday. Happy, happy solar return to us, baby. Now we rise. Believe as I come. Dawn of a new era, baby. We are navigating through a planetary shift where the Earth's rhythms align with our rising consciousness, illuminating a path to higher awareness and collective awakening. More lectures. I can put out more books. I can move hard. This is how you got to move every single day. And if I know each and every one of y'all is me, I have to protect my energy, nigga. It's a double entendre. Protect your energy and your own energy, but also understand that every single thing around you is you. And it's also energy. You the genie. You really control this shit with your thoughts and your reactions and your actions. That's the only way they got us to not feel each other pain because they separated us. Our ancestors knew there was no separation. We are one. You hurt that flower, nigga, you hurt me. You cut that tree down, nigga, you cut me down, nigga. You kill that lion for no reason, you killing me for no reason. Not no all of that ain't related to me, I don't know that. But that's my reflection. That's me in another form. We are multi-dimensional beings. Our ancestors knew this. Free Rashad Jamal, man. He ain't do what they say he did. I don't believe it. That's my opinion. Your opinion could be different. But we ain't got to go to war off of it. We can still see eye to eye on other situations. We got to... I don't know, man. Like I said, Free Rashad Jamal... I'ma keep his name lit. He was on a whole deeper level than some shit that they said he did. Why would he be vibrating so damn high and turn around and do some shit that's so vibrationally low? That don't even make sense. His mind was way ahead of shit. But hey, like I said, it's my opinion. Free my guy. How y'all feel? Spam it up with y'all feeling, man. Floor is yours. I want y'all to go ahead and tell me what y'all feel about these last couple clips. Spam it up not even possible like how did they know that mars was the red planet and why was it a worldwide fact that saturn had rings yeah. based upon what information because nobody worldwide is disagreeing this is that thing that you see that all the Anunnaki guys that have that look like a rich watch and they always have it and you're always trying to see what that is. Yeah, what is that? It is a time, it's a compass. It's a timekeeping compass. And the emerald tablets of Thoth are literally mind changing and mind blowing it's given in first person and that's not possible the things that are being said are impossible enough time has passed though that it's not like that he literally says hey there's a spaceship on earth and this is where it is y'all want thought y'all want me to dive down that rabbit hole so this was the sun in antarctica just a few days ago you guys and did you guys hear the news about antarctica I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but scientists are ringing the alarm because they see that the ice in Antarctica is melting at an unprecedented rate. I mean, did you guys hear the news about Mount Fuji? I told you. It's been, they broke the record of 130 years of having no ice. I mean, no snow. They're supposed to have snow in the end of August. It is November and still no snow. This is how bad it is, y'all. As of March 2022, temperatures on that continent has reached up to 70 degrees above normal temperature. 70 degrees? And they tell us that the change is happening faster than they previously thought. That's been happening a lot with these scientists, hasn't it? Their predictions have been wrong lately, a lot. But yes, y'all, look at this. This is this is different parts of Antarctica. This is different parts of Antarctica. Look at that. It's look look at that, y'all. I mean, with the sun looking like that, I see why it's turning green. But do y'all see these particles in the air? Like these dust? Is that pixie dust? Does this type of sun come with pixie dust? That's crazy. It's not snow. And you see that? There's another rainbow. And then this one. And then this one, bro. It's beautiful, man. But yeah, Antarctica is getting greener. No snow on Mount Fuji. All I can say is, let's continue to get this shift. Peace in. Do y'all think when they said climate change, do y'all think that they knew that the planet was about to go through that reset? Do y'all believe that was the case? 
Or do you think that they was controlling the reset? Do you think it's in their control or you think it's out of their control? Or like me, I believe that some of it's in their control, some of it's out of their control. Because again, they ain't stronger than God. God still controls the chips of all this shit. That's what I feel like. I feel like God still control a majority of all of it. I feel like he let them get away with what he want to let them get away with. And over time, the light always outdo the dark. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm just asking. That's a whole other topic for another day. But today, how y'all feel about that? And I wanted to ask, do y'all think when they put something in front of the sun, like some people think it's a sun simulator, I think it's something's up there too. I've taken pictures of that and shown it on this channel. Personal pictures. Do y'all think that maybe when they put something in front of the sun, that the sun is actually, the real sun is actually like, it knows something's in front of it? Everything that's natural can always outdo the artificial over time. Do y'all think that our real sun is beaming harder? And that's what's really causing climate change? And they trying to keep it intact and keep whatever's up there, the sun simulator intact in front of it. And it's like causing complications. And that's part of the effect is with, with Antarctica. But only thing with Antarctica is if, if those ice walls is there, which I believe they are, and it's turning green, that means the ice walls is coming down and whatever's past them ice walls, let's just say it ain't human form, that shit coming over here. Whether it's good or bad, the shit coming. But let me know how y'all feeling. Let me know. Oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe this. We just saw that door open and shut. Wait, oh my God. Yeah, oh my God. Oh my it what just moved. Holy Do you oh, see no, that? Zoom in. Zoom in. No, to the right. Wait, what the f? Do you see that? That a giant what the just. She crazy. Out here right now, it's individuals that are being used by lower vibration entities to trigger you. And I'm going to give you an example. It might be someone like a Karen. You think that's funny and things like that, but that person is speaking with a spirit of hating them. You might run into a racist person. You might run into friends and family that's just throwing subtle jokes. But this is to trigger you to make sure they knock you off your path. Preach. Everybody else starting to feel like we jumped into a different timeline because things are not adding up. Like, has anybody else noticed the days are starting to go by way faster than they used to? And Picasso was alive at the same time as Charles Darwin and the rapper Eminem. Even our organs are changing places in our body. Like, like our hearts used to be on the left side of our body. Everybody knows this. In cartoons, you would get hit or shot in the heart, you would die. But now, all of a sudden, our hearts are located in the center of our chests? Not in my timeline. And I remember distinctly there was a robber emoji. Like a robber. Where did it go? Oh, and you remember the song with Michael Jackson, Smooth Criminal? Where the lyrics in my timeline went, You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Now it goes, You've been hit by, you've been hit by, you've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. When did he say hit twice? And <laughs> Hell nah. When did he say hit twice? That boy, man, that Mike Jack said struck. I know, I remember that shit vividly. Am I reaching? Am I tripping? Spam it up, man. I need to know. I need to know. Because I was waiting on it. Like, nah, I ain't heard that one. Nah, bro. Nah. But I have had this issue where I was meditating last night. And as I'm meditating, this left ear just start going crazy. Just start ringing at the at a crazy. It was crazy. And I, and I, had, I had to go, like, search to see, like, what that mean? And it says something about timeline shifts, timeline jumps. But what's crazy is while I was meditating, I was visualizing my future. And as I'm visualizing my future, I felt like I jumped timelines for a second. It was weird as shit. It was weird. And I don't even want to say this on camera because it sounds so weird. But whatever, man, I'm putting it out there. And I got a clip coming of that. And I, I might, it might be in this video because right after that, I was scrolling through some stuff and some answered my question because I've been waking up with like neck pains or just in general, like th throughout the day, my neck would be straight and I'll get like a weird pain in my neck. I have a video of a dude explaining he has the same issues. So we will see. But yeah, the timeline jumps, man. I don't know. I, I kind of agree with the timeline jumps, but 
this Michael Jackson lyric? Nah, bro. He said hit by, then he said struck by. Let me know what y'all remember. If you're walking down the hallway, coming down here, he peeks around the corner of the door at you. And you turn around and look and see him down here. Turn around and take a picture of him, okay? people to know about me can i twist that question sure this is what i want people to know the whole point of the human race of the human mind in itself is evolution whether it's evolution spiritually physically period evolution the purpose from from birth is creation that's all humans do everything around you was created you were created that table over there created, this chair created, this mic created, that camera created, that hat created. The whole point of the human of the human race in itself is creation. Before now, when there was at least ideally the, the belief of two human beings on earth, everything after that was a creation in itself. The whole point is evolution and creation. If you're not evolving, you're doing something wrong. So anything that takes away the power of your mind is keeping you still and delaying your evolution. The whole point of life is evolution. Study your laws of the universe. The law of attraction, the law of abundance, the law of equivalent exchange. Study your laws, the laws of cause and effect, the karmic cycle. Study your laws. Y'all think that's the reason why scary part of an awakening is when you realize that we are all living in a simulation. Everything's holographic. It's all a perception of our inner reality that is reflecting around us. Lock the f*** in. We are raised in a world where we are ruled by evil forces, where we are controlled, programmed, conditioned, brainwashed. Do you understand all of this shit was designed so that you never become who the f*** you really are? Do you understand that everything is designed so that you stay so powerless and weak and brainwashed and in separation so that you never go on the path of discovering what we all are under all of this shit and under all of our shit? And as many of us leave the old earth and start becoming the new earth, which is a becoming, it's not just I choose the new earth. No, you got to do work to raise your level of consciousness to raise your frequency to become a being of oneness which is harmony and unconditional love and harmlessness and gentleness and all of the things that we've never been before for me it was a lot of I, I used to sit and just think about my my actions why I did my actions what I was thinking before I did my actions and actually holding myself accountable for the wrong I did and honestly like what helped me the best this sound crazy I seen a clip of I know it was on YouTube a clip of how to um, how to chakra heal and my and and that was from the avatar I tried to post it on this channel but it won't let me uh copyright reasons but as he started explaining what chakra does what and how to let how to it's like a blockage it's like a stream and you want the stream to go all the way through but in between that streams and before you get to e chakra there's a blockage and you gotta you know there's certain ways to let that go how to heal from it and that right there is what helped me my biggest thing was anger that was the that was the biggest thing and it was because i couldn't forgive 
I still got issues where, with that, but I, I'm learning. And it was a lot of forgiveness and anger, built up anger and forgiveness. And over time, as I started to calm my ass down and not give everything a reaction and not really like fly off the handle off every little thing because I'm frustrated or I didn't let something go or I wasn't where I felt I should have been in life. When I started just calming down, controlling my breathing, meditating, actually controlling my breathing when I'm thinking about certain things, learning how to hold myself accountable, shit changed. Shit changed. And I all and then when I start losing myself again, I always try to remember, reassess yourself. Hold yourself accountable, man. That's and then and that, that's when it leads me down what she's talking about as well. And I feel like everybody's capable of the same thing. Everybody's capable of the same thing. Everybody's great at something. Learn what you're great at. And put your foot on the gas pedal and don't let up. That's my advice. So Gene and I are out on yet another adventure. And last time we were out, I, I caught some footage that, quite frankly, has me a little spooked. And I haven't quite decided if I want to show it yet. Now, it's not the first time that I catch something in the background while we're recording. Like a deer that we didn't notice or some hikers that we didn't see while we were busy winching the jeeps out of a mud hole or something. But this was different. Now, I, I don't understand what I saw and I can't explain it. Uh, so if you have seen anything like it, please feel free to let me know what you think it is in the comments. Frankly, it has me pretty spooked. Never captured any footage. But tonight was different. Please tell me y'all saw that or was my eyes deceiving me. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all, I still have a hard time believing that clip. Let me know if that's even, if y'all think it's real. And if it is, or if anybody seen it with their own two eyes, or like, I mean, it, it, it I'm not gonna have a, a closed mind and say it's not real. It just blows me away that we able to see some of the shit that we able to see in the sky. It, it, it's crazy to me, but a hell of a time to be alive, but I think it's me personally, I have a hard time accepting that clip. <laughs> I have a hard time accepting that clip. Let me know if, if I'm tripping. If it's real, I'll be the first one to say, yeah, yeah, I'm tripping, it's real. Hey, somebody somebody showed me it was real, but I just, it, I don't know, man, I'm 50-50. Y'all let me know, it's just crazy. Like, we, we, we got shit like this and the news won't even show that. They won't even show that, but they'll show you all types of other stuff. But what about that, bro? What what if that was like hazardous or what if that was like something gonna come out and start kicking ass on all the people that's around or in that area? The news wouldn't even have our back. So but but then again that that's probably why it's real, because it didn't hit the news. Let me know, man. Oh, what the f that is, man? Look at the hey, stop playing, man. What the f is, man? That's another dimension right there. 
What the f is that, man? Hey, that's a media. That... Boy, that's a media. What? I don't even know what no media is, man. I'm laughing at you, dog. I don't even know what media is. But what you said is, that shit sounded Guess that shit is a real portal. I was wrong. First to say it. Tartaria was everywhere, and history as we know it has been completely fabricated. At first we thought maybe the Dark Ages were just unclear, but it turns out they were invented to push a lot of events further into the past. We realized that it wasn't just small parts of history that might be wrong, everything was made up. One fascinating thing is the architecture we find around the world. In almost every city you'll find ancient Gothic style buildings with incredibly intricate designs. People look at them and say, oh, that's just how they built things back then. But some of these buildings are absolutely stunning. Think about it. If we lived in a feudal society where everyone was working just to survive, how would anyone have had the time, resources, or motivation to build something so elaborate and that worked the way they did? These buildings weren't just practical structures like free energy generators. They were artistic expressions. They were built to be functional and beautiful to celebrate what was being created. But we don't build like that anymore. The complexity and beauty of these structures are clues that we didn't live in the same pay-to-survive system we're trapped in now. Tartaria was a global civilization, incredibly advanced and powered by free energy, likely based on etheric energy. It existed up until about 200 or 250 years ago. Estimates place its early origins around the mid 17th century and its destruction came shortly after. They've been lying to you all along. Again, if we did it once, we can do it. We can do it now. If we did it then, we can do it now. I saw him say. I'm going to speak that to the atmosphere, I'm going to speak that to the universe, spam it up if y'all agree with me. If we had people who can do it then, we can do it now. We don't need the 1%, what they would call the 1%, or the top of the pyramid. We don't need them to, if they did it then, we can do it now. Let's, let's hold that mindset. Let's hold that mindset, collective. Russia's calendar that they released last year for this year has some pretty interesting pictures that coincide with the months and i'm gonna sh i'm just gonna i'm just gonna show you I'm, I'm just gonna show you why is that our capital building why is that a russian soldier why does that look like war why is this for november but honestly there's one that's even more interesting than that but i have to read you something before i show you because you're not going to understand why i was actually so shocked when i saw this mm, okay hold on so I've been studying Daniel because, like, are you Daniel from whom nothing was hidden? Yeah. So uh, Daniel chapter 7 is Daniel's dream of four beasts. Well, there's a beast um, that looks like a lion, had the wings of an eagle. I watched until its wings were torn off, and it was lifted from the ground so it stood on two feet like a human being, and the mind of a human was given to it. If you want to guess on that one. That one's pretty obvious. But then there's this one. And there was a second beast, which looked like a bear, and it was raised up on one of its sides, and it had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth. And it was told, get up and eat your fill of flesh. And this one's the December for this Russian calendar. And the reason that I was so like, hmm, that's strange, is because it's raising one arm. And you remember how that passage, do you remember what that passage just said? Do you remember, take a good look at it first, because also there's like, a tornado behind it or a hurricane hmm. i don't know what that is i really would like to know what that banner says too but i don't read russian um maybe i can look and see what it says uh oh it does it says it doesn't matter who is against you it matters who is nearby <laughs> but let's just revisit that really quick there before me was a second beast which looked like a bear that sure did look like a bear it was raised up on one of its sides with you know like and it had three ribs in its mouth between its teeth. And it was told, get up and eat your fill of flesh. And after that, I looked before me and there was another beast that looked like a leopard. And on its back, it had four wings like those of a bird. The beast had four heads and it was given authority to rule. Like, maybe, maybe not. But <laughs> that's outside the UN building in New York. Call me crazy. Or don't. But it's a little too, uh... 
it's a little too much of a coincidence for it to be coincidence, all of these things. But there was a fourth beast, too. Let's talk about that. And then there was a fourth beast. Terrifying, frightening, and very powerful. It had large iron teeth that crushed and devoured its victims and trampled underfoot whatever was left. It was different from all the former beasts, and it had ten horns. And while I was thinking about the horns, there before me was a, a horn, a little one, which came up among them. And three of the first horns were uprooted before it. This horn had eyes like a human and a mouth that spoke boastfully. So this is all speculation, in my opinion, and if this is fact, this is just me looking around with my eyeballs and and through the lens of the Bible and seeing a bunch of things that just seem a little too coincidence to be coincidence. What do you think? What y'all feeling about that one? Do you know about the Turpin family story? No, I never heard of this. Oh my gosh. So I'm surprised that these parents could get away with something like this so long. So they literally imprisoned their children. For what? In their house. Nothing. They were born and got in prison, fam. So imagine there's two parents that had 13 kids mm -hmm. and you trapped them in your house. Those kids couldn't go outside. They couldn't look out the window, anything like that. Yeah. You're there. They were fed once a day, right? And mm -hmm. taken like the whole time. These kids didn't even have knowledge of like what, where they live, their address oh, and stuff. Oh, that's crazy. That's how long they've been locked up their whole life, yeah. right? So one day, the mom and dad decide to give them like a deactivated phone. Mm -hmm. So when they're out, they can call them just to see if they're they're inside, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so uh, usually in the night, this one kid, right, out yeah. of the 13, would grab the phone and go onto the Wi-Fi, right? Mm -hmm. And this is her first time seeing the internet. She would scroll for hours. She'd be like, yo, I want to do this social media and stuff. And then she realizes what the outside what world What the is. outside world is. So listen, this yeah. is crazy how she escaped. One guy on the internet comments, oh, why do you only dance at night? The person goes, oh, it's because um, our parents don't let us go out. Like, they don't even feed us properly. The guy's like, that's not normal. You should call 911, right? Ooh. She's lucky that she... Because she didn't, she didn't even know what the police is. Oh, so you she know what I mean? So, that was the only way she could escape. Yeah, so one night, she's like, okay, this is it. Yeah. Right? She grabs the phone. She grabs a mail envelope. I'll tell you why that's important later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She jumps out the window, starts running. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she doesn't know where... where is because this is her first time outside. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she's outside and she calls the cops. You want to see how, like, her first ever conversation is? I just ran away from home. Okay. Mm -hmm. they, they recorded it. I live in a family of 15. Okay. My two little sisters right now are chained up. 15? Yeah. They're, they're 15 kids. There's 15 kids? No, no, there's 13 kids, two adults. Oh, shit. I thought you said there's two kids. No, 13 kids, fam. Holy shit. I said that at the beginning. So boom, so they have abusing parents. So they they go and raid it, right? Yeah. You know why the envelope was so um, uh, important? Why, why? Because the police asked her, where do you live? She's oh, been, the address. She's been locked up so long, she doesn't even know where her address is. Damn. She says, this is the address. Boom, they go in, they see all the chains all the kids. Oh, locked. that's messed up, bro. Wait, this, this, these are their biological kids. Yes, this is their biological kids. That's messed that's up. That's why the court, like, if you go and see the court, um, uh, thing of of the people, the actual parents. Yeah. It's so sad because it's like, I, they're like, I love my kids though, like. Oh man. No, you don't. Their whole lives, fam. They don't even know where they live. That's messed up. Because they didn't teach us. If you're inside for so long with no education, what do you do? You did, yeah, you're literally just like a blank slate. It's like Patrick, the world. fam. You're under a rock. Yeah, you're literally just a blank slate. What's crazy with that is them. Some of them, if not all of them, I hope I'm wrong. Gonna have some type of problems, like mentally, um, just in general, bro. That's a long time to not shit to have no no interaction I, they don't know nothing that's crazy that mean they probably yeah that's crazy that's sad i've never heard that story before have y'all heard that before that's crazy i seen a movie similar like that but where where the, the mom was taking left in a shed or something and the son, she had a son and the kid, I think it was two kids. And they, they had no idea what the outside looked like. And then at the end, the son finally got to see what the outside looked like. Let me know if y'all know that movie. It's either called like Girl in the Shed or something like that. But that's crazy. I heard a story too for about the, the kid that they kept uh, locked away and didn't have no interaction with nobody. I think it was a girl. She came out with a lot of 
a lot of problems. Prayers to, to them kids, man. That's crazy. Sitting at the table number 25 at the Grammy. Here is the 25 again. Beyonce and Jay-Z are standing in front of this picture. Dressed like going to a burial. The coincidence is that Michael Jackson, the king of pop, died on the 25th of June. Left eye. From this side, it's the left eye. Down on 25th. April, Alia, queen of urban pop, died also on the 25th of August, so 25. Three people, three crosses. Two above the three means 666, right? Album from Beyonce is named Cowboy Carter, but she's a cowgirl, not a cowboy. Cowboy Carter, a thing of Aaron Carter. He passed away on the 5th November. In 2022. You got also the two on the five. No, it's the Paramount. Nah. The Paramount logo, how it has a, a mountain. And there's and, stars coming out? It has stars, yeah. How much stars is in that logo? How many? 22. What does 22 have and, to do? No, this is crazy because people are saying like, the we're living out revelations right now. Yeah. And like shit in the Bible is like coming true. Mm -hmm. And there was one line in the Bible that says something about all the stars will fall to earth. Mm. And a lot of people are saying that that's actually a metaphor. The stars in the this case is the celebrities. They're coming down to earth as in like they're becoming yeah, lowered. Ex yeah, and they're going to be exposed for their fame. Mm. So it connects to the story where 22 angels fall from Mount Hermon in the book of Enoch. Oh, shit. There was exactly 22 angels that were appointed in Whoa, that thing. What the f and so how in the, the Super Bowl, they put the the stars and they all were falling. It was 22? 20, yeah, at halftime. Yeah, there's always 22 in the, the Paramount. What the? So that's another like um like uh, symbolism, how they Subliminal. do it. Subliminal. Yeah. And Paramount movies, it relates to... You're not thinking right now. You're following orders. You're not thinking for yourself. You're not in touch with your soul. Because if you were, you would take that off and you would breathe freely which is the number one form of nutrition and if you don't have proper oxygen you can't have cognitive function and if you can't think right you're easily pushed around and controlled and manipulated Não adianta nenhum gente sair, ó. Minha nossa senhora. Get your tickets now to the next online worldwide conference. Secrets of the universe. Tickets available at therawreport.com. Kone? 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 Oi! 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 Is that cap or fact, man? That's the second time we've seen that. And if I'm not mistaken, it was almost a year ago we seen her. She was sitting on them stairs. Is that cap or fact? Whoever, if that ain't, if that is, uh, if it's fake, whoever did her teeth and made her look like that, bro, need a job in the next horror film. That's my, that's my take on that one. What is going on, y'all? So the entire police department in Jerry, Oklahoma, including the police chief, just resigned, y'all. And remember, this just happened in Oklahoma itself. Well, for the nearly 1,000 people who live here in Gary, they've lost their entire police department and two of their three city council members in a single day. Residents tell me they feel like their city is crumbling around them. 
This is an emergency, and I don't know what is. That we don't have much of a city anymore. On Thursday morning, the entire Geary police force turned in their badge. That's five officers, including the police chief. The announcement came on social media. The police chief thanked the town and encouraged residents to be more active in city government. No re- So basically, they are just leaving it to the people to fend for themselves. Y'all hear that? Geary, Oklahoma. Now, no reason was given as to why they quit, but they all quit together, including the two politicians from their small town. This is what one of the politicians says after they were audited, and the acting police chief right now was the one that audited them. Hmm, that's interesting. So now all of this is going to pose a danger to the citizens because no one's there to protect them. Protect them, sir, which is what officers do. And I've also read in the comments that this has happened to other places as well. Did y'all hear about that? Is this happening other places as well? All of this is going on and no one's talking about this? Bro, please let me know what's going on, y'all. Let me know what you guys think about this video. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only, y'all. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let's continue to get this shift. Peace in. Damn. Let me know if y'all know the other places. What are they doing? What? Is it on the planet? Oh, что-то там не то. <laughs> she had me bounce back. Hey, bro, when you see something like that, you gotta. Start chopping them hands. You gotta get some sharp. You chopping them hands, or you gotta go get that fire. Get the fire, bro. You got to. You got to. It, that shit ain't coming to talk. He ain't coming to shake your hand, bro. He ain't coming to shoot shit. He coming to get. He coming to. He coming to do some work, bro. And you gotta match that energy. Let me know what y'all feeling. But the clip before that, Los, I know you watching. Do you remember when we was at our flag game? And we saw the chemtrail, and it looked like it was part in the sky, and part of the sky was a little bit more darker than the other side. Let me know if you remember. It looked like that, but that looked like it was coming straight up. But we saw the chemtrail, though, and you was like, bro, why it look like that? I know you remember, bro. I know you remember. It was from that clip. It looked like that, though. It just happened. Did you guys know or remember the South Park episode where this was included in it? This is news to me. Apparently, it's actually a bit old. But uh, it's season 24, episode 2. And you can watch them talk about this sort of thing, and it's exactly what you think it is. And that's Oprah. Nasty asses. I don't know about you but I've been having a lot of soreness in my neck and in my head. It's almost like I wake up with a spiritual hangover. And it's been happening pretty frequently. And I, I'm i pretty sure that these are timeline shifts. And when I do go about my day, I have weird soreness in my neck, the high-pitched ringing, really high-pitched whistling, per se, comes in like Morse code. There'll be you know, different tones. I live every day with a little bit of high pitch whistling in my ear. And this started quite a while back, about a year ago for me. And I thought it was tinnitus, which it's not. It has days where it's so in the background that I have to concentrate to hear it. But whenever I wake up with these sore soreness is in the back of my neck and in my head over the next few days i will see something on the schumann resonance where there was a spike or there was a black line these are in my opinion in my opinion only only timeline shifts now i will go out in public for the next couple of days and everything is the same but different and i don't know about you but I do believe that all of us in the spiritual community right now are coming back to a time that happened a long time ago. 
we see so many things that are uh, showing their true colors. You know, everything that was done in the dark is coming to the light. And know that we haven't even begun, really. I do believe that this is just the beginnings of things that are the waves of change are coming. And with wind in our sails, we are sailing into the new world, the new earth, the new Mother Gaia. Take today to try meditation. For me, meditation has been an absolutely out-of-body experience. It has altered my belief systems. And I see things truly for what they are. You can go into meditation. Now, hear me out. If you can do 20 minutes a day for a week, you will see that 20 minutes goes from difficult to do to pretty easy to do. And before you know it, you'll be in meditation for an hour and it's like you, it's like you didn't even do 20 minutes. A month into meditation, you're not going to be the same person. Without a, without a shadow of a doubt, 100% guarantee, people will start noticing that you're a different person. Well, you're very different. And some people will compliment you. Some people who are different, and I'm going to just say different, <laughs> will not like the new you. Those are the people you need to stay away from. Ending this video at 333, it's an angel number. Uncle Chris loves you. In the words of Qari, take some time to sparkle and shine. So we always thought that we were being manipulated with, with time and amongst other things, which is true. And especially after the events that transgressed on April 8th, and I'm talking about the solar eclipse, we see time has been weird ever since. Now I woke up today and I noticed that my stove clock was two hours ahead of my phone. And I really wasn't, you know, perplexed, but it didn't really throw me back. But then my God has sent me this video and I was like, hold on, something is going on here. Because like we're saying, we've all been feeling weird, especially time. Time has been feeling weird to every one of us lately. Now, what's crazy is this lady also found out that the clock on her car was also two hours ahead of her phone as well, y'all. So something must be going on with time. I'm going to the gym, but I just wanted to show you an example of my car dry snitching on the USA, okay? Because everybody's always talking about daylight savings time and how it's confusing and how is it that when it's one way it gets dark at like 7 30 8 o'clock but then when the time changes it gets dark at like 5 36 o'clock but we're only going back and forward one hour right my car does this every time daylight savings time happens but i'm just gonna you know show you all what it's doing okay if the time only went back one hour why is it 11 38 like, the real time right now is 9.38 on my phone, but my car time is two hours ahead. So the time on my stove had already been changed. I haven't been out all day, so I went to go check out my truck. Tell me why my truck told me it was 12.38 a.m. I went to go check out my truck at 7.30 p.m., y'all. What is going on? Are we experiencing different timing for real, y'all? Y'all do remember the portals being erected everywhere as of late, as well as since the eclipse, things haven't been normal, per se. So yes, y'all, do y'all think time is being manipulated? I mean, obviously, you know, why would daylight savings exist in the first place? But how do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about time right now? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's continue to get this shift, y'all. Peace in. She got the same car I got. My Uconnect literally updated itself. So when the time switched, I went to the car and my time was the same as my phone. I didn't have to switch it. The stove is an hour ahead. I don't know about y'all though, but for me, since the time has changed, it's hard for me to sleep. I can't, I haven't got like one of those just knocked out sleeps. I haven't had really had one since the time switch. I don't know why, but y'all let me know. In the clip before that, that's the clip I was telling y'all about 
with the meditation and the ear ringing and the neck pains. I've been having that same shit he talking about. I've been having the same. And that's when I came across it last night. And I was like, I got to post it for y'all today. So let me know what y'all feeling as far as that clip right there. Now, what the is this? That's a big ass head. Y'all see that shit? <laughs> So as the age of Aquarius rages on, now we starting to find all these petrified sculptures everywhere, all over the world, telling us a story that has been long and forgotten about. And let's slow down and let's think about it. Where did all these giants come from? What turned them into stone? Could these giants wake back up? See the regular mind to see something like this, they will laugh not knowing that it's a world that we don't know. Stories and folklore that have been passed down for generations and generations that we forgot about. And we all know about the story about the giants. It's been put in front of our face the whole time. Fi, fa, fo, fum. It sound familiar? Let me know what y'all think about them finding a petrified cyclops inside of a cave in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom. Stay tuned. Go follow me on YouTube. We drop an exclusive content. On Let's hope they asses don't wake up and kick ass, bro. Y'all have got to see this video. A lot of people are actually saying that this is a fairy or a pixie caught on camera. The video was taken in Alabama, so if there's anybody out there watching from Alabama, can you tell me what this is? Or if you saw this? But it's just this glowing thing in the sky flying back and forth in a sporadic pattern. The OP of the video did say that this video is sped up to two minutes. It was eight minutes long. This lasted for around eight minutes. And I mean, it is a very odd thing to see in the sky. It doesn't look like any type of man-made object either, like paper lanterns or drones. And it's leaving a light trail behind it, which many viewers of this video are claiming to be pixie dust. So what do you guys think about this one? Do you think this is a Tinkerbell caught on camera in Alabama? Are there other possible explanations for this? Because I have no clue what this could be. Just let me know your thoughts on this one. That shit do look like Tinkerbell, bro. Proof your favorite sport is rigged. No way. Tiny magnets placed on the ball, ensuring a strong attraction to the metal rim. Watch. Come on now. Come on, magnets on the ball. You can shoot that a thousand times. What? It literally hit the backboard and still didn't fall off? <laughs> this look says it all. A one no. in a shot, right? basketball but what about football smallest strongest magnets in the world on your side it usually only what? takes one hand i mean i guess it would make sense right there's a lot of money in sports especially with these betting sites nowadays sure is a crazy conspiracy hey, weird, theory in fact they add magnets to the ball now bro i could have cared less about the football because to me football is always easier to play than basketball and I play college basketball. That's the crazy part. Y'all, these dumbass coaches made us shoot all them damn jumpers in practice. All them shots, bro, we put up in practice and workouts to find out that they got magnets on the ball, bro. That shit is crazy. <laughs> Y'all had us out here tiring our asses out, bro, putting up all them shots. That don't make no sense, but hey. I already, we already know they rigged. Like football, that that you can see that. Let me know if y'all didn't know it was rigged when y'all, if y'all watch football, and y'all seen Stephon Diggs catch that pass when he played for the Vikings. I want to say it was a little bit before Thanksgiving, like 2017 maybe, and he caught that catch, and the dude just missed him, bro, and he, that looked rigged then. It looked rigged when Lamar Jackson got caught in the end zone last year. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. I think the, the ref smirked too. I ain't like that play. Now with the NBA, you could always tell. We already know that was rigged. That came out. 
one of the rabbits, one of the rats got caught. And that's a whole rabbit hole we could dive down if you wanted to look. You can tell when the game about to switch. If a team winning too much, I guarantee you by the third, by the third quarter, somewhere in the beginning of the first six minutes of the third quarter, they about to call something. They slowing the momentum down. So whatever team's winning, they about to slow that momentum down. They're going to call fouls, 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 all type of little ticky-tack shit. And then as soon as they call that, the momentum going to switch. That's when you start seeing them comebacks. Because now teams, everybody shoot threes. So all it takes is for them to call some shit left for a second. Team hit a couple threes, they back in the game. It's just crazy. Like, I've been watching basketball my whole life, bro. Like, literally watching it my whole life, playing it my whole life. Football, too. It's just like if you really paying attention, you can pay, you can peep what's real and what's fake. Sometimes that shit they be doing be real, and sometimes you be like, bro, the refs rigged that shit. It's higher. It's deeper than it's deeper than what we could see. Let me know if I'm reaching. Have you ever heard the legend of the sleeping lady in Alaska? Well, let me tell you a tale that will send shivers down your spine on day three of 31 spooky things about Alaska. Long ago, when giants are said to have roamed the earth, there was a giantess named Susitna. She was engaged to a brave warrior who went off to battle, promising to return to her. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months, but her beloved never returned to her. Heartbroken, Susitna lay down by a river, vowing to sleep until he came back. As she slept, the earth embraced her and she became the mountain that we now call Sleeping Lady. But the legend doesn't end there. They say that on cold, moonlit nights, you can hear her whispering in the wind, calling out for her lost love. Some even say her tears are flowing down the mountain as rivers. Those who venture too close might hear her sorrowful cries and longing for her long lost love. The sleeping lady waits. Damn. Every one of our family members noticed that deer. We had family chats about what a weird deer that was, how big it was, how much different colored it was, and how it acted different. I had a bedroom in the front of the house. And I was adjusting my blinds on the window there, and wow, my yard went right up to the woods. And I saw a bear in between two trees. Well, I slid the, the window open to shoo him away because he's too close to the house, and it stood up. Not a bear, it was it. It was him. He stood up. He was tall, hairy, and all of a sudden, this is the thing that got me. That Bigfoot, Skookum, Sasquatch, whatever they want to call it, shapeshifted, folks, into the white deer. Just that quick. And it walked away, and it looked over its shoulders, and it looked at me like, okay. They shapeshift. I don't care what anybody says. They shapeshift. They did it right in front of my eyes. Do y'all remember that clip? We came out with that clip. I can't remember when. It was probably maybe a year ago. It might have been a couple months ago. But I remember that clip. I believe him or do y'all not believe him? If that Bigfoot wanted to do some harm, it would have. But he didn't. He said he looked over his shoulder like, okay. Hey, I believe in Bigfoot. You can disagree if you would like. You can agree if you like. Spam it up. Let me know what you feel. The locations of the 12 stargates on Earth. Stargate 1, located in the Painted Desert, Arizona, USA, near Sedona. Stargate 2, Jerusalem, Israel. Stargate 3, Nepal, in the Himalayan Mountains. Stargate 4, Giza, Egypt, beneath the Great Pyramid. Stargate 5, Machu Picchu, Peru. Stargate 6, Caucasus Mountains, Russia. Stargate 7, Lake Titicaca, Peru. Stargate 8, Xi'an, China. Stargate 9, Lhasa, Tibet. Stargate 10, Abudan, Iran. Stargate 11, Vale of Pusey, England. Stargate 12, Montségur, France. How y'all feel, collective? How was today's lineup? Y'all feeling it? Y'all not? But y'all give me about another three, another three videos. And y'all say y'all want me to pull moms up here. I'll pull moms on a video. Like I said, she ain't got no filter. So I'm gonna have to maybe bleep out some of her words, her choice of words and you know, things like that. But y'all want it, let's do it. So I'll have her come on probably by sun next Sunday's video. But y'all know we made it to the end of this. 
And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notified whenever we drop them uploads. Y'all know we coming with about four videos every smooth seven. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, helps collective grow, helps collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. And I did go back and watch my very first video. I don't feel like I had no energy, bro. I was still learning how to do this. I was so used to just doing the music and stuff like that, but... Hey, we came a long way, bro. Came a long way. We grown. We're going to continue to grow. Collective going to continue to get bigger. We're going to continue to help everybody make this a safe space for everybody. I don't care what you look like, what you believe in. You're going to be able to have come here and have a safe place. It'd be respectful in the comments, please. I saw the ask of anybody who come here. Just be respectful in the comments. Whether it's towards anybody else, if you take your shots at me, I ain't going to give it no energy. Until I see y'all in the next one, y'all know what it is. We gone. Yeah, mm, I just check my count, check, 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 check,